Now, your local weather with the KX Storm Team. Welcome back, everybody. We have a first severe thunderstorm warning that has been issued uh, for West Central Kidder County, East Central Burley County. It's for uh, that storm there. Uh, it looks particularly intense. In fact, it was just warned for two inch size hail, which is hen egg size hail and 60 mile per hour winds. Uh, moving really slowly, it's just kind of creeping to the north right now at about 15 miles per hour. Could be affecting the Robinson area within the next 30 minutes to an hour or so. Uh, but again, it is the first warning we have West Central Kidder County to East Central Burley County until 6. 45. We also have more storms coming in from the southwest right now. Some stronger storms, not severe, in eastern Sioux County. We're going to watch these roll off towards the northeast, and it looks like the severe threat will hold just to the east here of the Bismarck and Mandan area. We have very low risk for tornadoes today. What we do have is a higher risk for some hail, which could be up to ping pong size, uh, although we have seen maybe even warnings uh, for more than that, and uh, winds up to 70 miles per hour. Again, our southeastern counties. Uh, temperatures right now very hot and humid to the southeast. 91 in Medina. It's 91 here in Bismarck. We're finding our hot, humid weather to the southeast and our hot but drier air uh, back towards the west, at least seasonally dry. You also notice winds are out of the south here across our southeastern counties with winds being out of the west and southwest here across the rest of our viewing areas. So we're getting a little bit of convergence right through the, uh, well, really through the Bismarck area and towards the east of that line is where we're seeing storms develop. And you can see dew points are very high across our southeastern counties. In fact, a dew point of 77 degrees in Medina, but you go back towards the west on the other side of the boundary and dew points are in the 50s and at low 60s. So this is what it actually feels like. It feels like 105 degrees out there in the Medina area. And so that's why we have a lot of fuel for these storms as they uh, form across our southeastern counties. Back to the west, not so bad. Here's Look at Harvey. You guys are right on the edge of the boundary as well, and we are looking at a temperature of 84 degrees. Look at the dew point, though, 75. Winds are now out of the southwest, so that kind of indicates that we could be looking at storms maybe just staying off towards your east. But a heat indice of 92 degrees. We have that heat advisory across our far southeastern counties, and we now have that severe thunderstorm watch in place. Again, it, it is for our far east and southeastern counties. All right, let's go ahead and time out these storms for you. Here's our boundary right now, almost like a dry line with hot drier air to the northwest and hot humid air to the southeast. We'll see storms kind of rumble across our southeastern counties over the next few hours. And by later tonight, by about 11 o'clock, looks like they'll be pushing out of our viewing area, perhaps in towards the Jamestown area. Early tomorrow morning will be clear, but at the same time, we'll be tracking a cold front. Behind the cold front, we could be looking for a few showers and thunderstorms moving into northeast Montana, northwest North Dakota by late tomorrow morning into the early afternoon. However, as this cold front advances and things heat Heat up. Things will kind of percolate out there. And we'll be looking for a hot, humid day tomorrow. And then as this cold front comes through, we'll be looking for strong thunderstorm development by tomorrow afternoon. Some of the models have it back further to the northwest earlier in the day. But nevertheless, it looks like we will have severe chances across the eastern part of our viewing area. And finally, things will clear out. We'll be looking at a cooler, drier air mass for the latter half of the weekend. Storm Prediction Center does have uh, a marginal risk across the eastern two thirds of our viewing area. Pos Possibly a slight risk across our southeastern counties. I wouldn't be surprised if we're upgraded to a slight risk, I should say, uh, by tomorrow. Lows tonight, temperatures getting down into the 60s, and your highs tomorrow, temperatures getting up into the 80s to the west, with another hot, humid day in place for tomorrow across our east. Highs there in the 90s. Dig us a three day forecast. You're into the upper 80s tomorrow with chances for showers and thunderstorms by tomorrow afternoon. Williston, chances for a slight chance for showers and thunderstorms, non severe with some cooler temperatures through the weekend. Mine on seven day forecast here. We're going to be looking at chances for showers and thunderstorms by tomorrow afternoon. And Bismarck here, another hot day with decent chances for showers and thunderstorms. It will be cooler with sunshine by the end of the weekend and early next week, guys. Thank you so much, Dave. Coming up